Elon Musk secretly built an insane new spaceship in seven days. What we think about the eccentric tech billionaire Elon Musk, a thought comes to mind. There is currently not a single major scientific breakthrough or industrial revolution that is taking place anywhere without his involvement in it. He's everywhere, underground with his boring company, on the ground with his Tesla EVs, and above and beyond the ground with his SpaceX spaceships. There's no stopping this man. So it would come as no surprise when we say that his aerospace company SpaceX is beating every single competitor out there in the world when it comes to the speed of building their spaceships. And that is precisely what today's video is all about. Today we're going to tell you about Elon Musk's secret plans to build insane new spaceships within seven days. You may all be thinking, how is this possible? How'd he do it? What challenges did he face and where will these spaceships fly off to? Well, stay with us as we walk you through the amazing aerospace manufacturing logistics of Elon Musk's SpaceX. So let's begin the video. Let's start off by stating the obvious. Elon Musk says SpaceX aims to launch his most used rocket once every week on average this year. That is incredible. But that's what we can expect from someone as passionate as Elon Musk. How badly does Elon Musk want to get to Mars? Musk always wants to go fast. He'll not live forever and the money will eventually run dry. He knows this. One day the window to spread humanity to Mars may close, but Musk doesn't know when. So he needs to squeeze through before the window shuts. Back in early 2020, Elon realized that to really accelerate, his company needed enough employees to assign workers to particular stations without the burgeoning factory, allowing each person to specialize. This would require a lot more hands that could build things. SpaceX had held a much publicized career day in early February, and the company hired several dozen new employees. By contrast, this Starship factory's scale-up would be all word of mouth, and it would happen immediately. All told, the company added 252 people to its South Texas launch site. It doubled the workforce, just like that, to more than 500 workers. Most of the new hires, even those who had inked contracts at midnight, were told to report for work the next morning. A year ago, perhaps a dozen or so people worked on site. Soon, the Texas factory became SpaceX's largest location outside of its headquarters in Hawthorne, California. In addition to hiring, SpaceX rapidly expanded its facilities in South Texas in the upcoming months. The company built two large windbreaks, which essentially serve as high bays for stacking the Starship vehicle. Within the next few weeks, SpaceX completed the construction of three football field-sized tents. Musk wanted a linear flow through the tents, whereby rocket parts come into one end of the factory and move from station to station until large chunks of Starship end up in a high bay for stacking into a vehicle. The process of building a Starship on site begins with large barrels. Each of these is about 2 meters tall and 9 meters in diameter. To make a barrel, a length of 301 full hard stainless steel is unspooled, cut once, and welded along this seam into a cylinder. In an unpressurized state, the barrels are cumbersome, as each weighs nearly 1,600 kilograms. To construct the outer skin of Starship, 17 barrels are stacked and welded together, with a nose cone on top. The company can now make two barrels a day, and it aims to reach production cadence of four barrels a day. The first of the big new tents are filled with tank domes for the SN2 and SN3 vehicles. Pressurized domes are difficult because they cap off the ends of fuel tanks and must hold chilled rocket propellant in Starship's case, methane, and liquid oxygen at high pressures, so they must be made with care. The current process for building a pressure dome takes about a week, one to two days to tack up and fit seal sheets, four days to weld the sheets together, and one to two days for x-ray inspections and repairs. But in Muskville, taking a week to move a dome was way too slow. So Musk challenged his team to find ways to go faster, cut production time, and improve weld qualities. He let his engineers engineer, and they came up with an ingenious solution for a dome welding with a tool called a knuckle seamer. The knuckle seamer looked something like a giant zipper that articulates over the front and back of a dome. On the front, the seam to be welded is designed to line up along the zipper, which clamps down for a precise fit. Then, in about 10 minutes, an automated torch traces down the length of the curve, providing a precise weld. Following this, the dome is rotated to bring the next seam into view. Other engineers built an in-house, shielded machine to x-ray the welds. Presently, an x-ray team shows up, quarantines the work area, the premises are vacated, 
and then radiation tests look for imperfections. With this new X-ray machine, SpaceX hopes to compress a process that can take a day down to a few hours. This is all happening so fast. Musk has always had a knack for hiring brilliant young engineers, and those in the Boca Chica tents are mostly in their 20s, busting their tails for the boss. Willingly. Why? Because Musk empowers them to go fast, do cool things, and very soon to see their machines fly. Enjoying the video? Tell us something. Why does Elon need to build so many spaceships in so little time anyway? Do you have the answer? While you think, do subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to receive instant notification about all our future videos. Because he's actually serious about settling Mars, it's no joke. It's not a con for more government money. No, Mars is the number one priority for SpaceX. And now in South Texas, Musk is getting close enough to Mars that he can almost taste its red dirt. Let's just step back for a moment to acknowledge how nuts this is. Starship is only the upper stage for SpaceX's super heavy rocket, but is arguably the most novel spacecraft ever built. No one has ever built a fully reusable rocket, and the second stage that goes into space is the hardest part. SpaceX remains a long way from making the interior of the Starship habitable for humans on a journey to Mars. But even building a fully reusable vehicle that can lift 150 tons into low Earth orbit would be a marvel. That's more throw capacity than the Apollo program's Saturn V rocket had, and Musk wants to build one of these each week. Compare that to NASA and its space launch system, the big rocket that the space agency has been developing for a decade and for which Boeing only recently completed a single core stage. This core stage is about 15 meters taller than Starship, but lacks its complexity. NASA will, in fact, toss each SLS core stage into the ocean after a single use. And Boeing doesn't have to make the engines, as the rocket uses 40-year-old space shuttle main engines. Despite this, and with nearly $2 billion in annual funding from NASA, Boeing's stretch goal for building core stages is one to two per year, sometime in the mid-2020s. SpaceX's stretch goal is to build one to two starships a week this year and to pare back construction costs to as low as $5 million each. SpaceX engineers and technicians in Boca Chica needed eight months to build the first Starship prototype, NK-1, but the workers in South Texas only needed a month to assemble SN-1, and SN-2 followed only about two weeks behind SN-1. Now he's built the production system, it's not finished, it's not perfect, but it's starting to pay dividends. The factory is beginning to flow linearly from one station to another, and after a flurry of hiring, the company has the workers it needs to produce rockets one after another. Where spaceships once took decades to be built, Elon Musk has made it possible to build one within a week. All through his perseverance, intelligence, and dedication, he has well and truly revolutionized the space industry forever. So, how impressed are you by SpaceX's spaceship producing assembly line that can churn out a starship in a week? Let us know in the comments below. And if you want to watch more of our amazing videos, then stay tuned.